Suppose you are having dates uh, in your Microsoft Excel and you want to convert that into different uh, format. How will you do that? So we are going to take multiple uh, scenarios of how the date can be and what you have to do just to change uh, the date format. So this system uh, has the local date system as the UK one. So in case we are typing any date in in the UK format, it will be recognized by the Excel. So we have this uh, 5th of uh, December 2020 and uh, let's say 1 to 2020, we have 3, 17, 2020. This will throw an error. So just uh, fix that one, 2020. So first of all, in your data source, the date should be consistent in, the, in terms of uh, where the month and the date is so irrespective of uh, if it if your local system supports you as a format or the uk format the dates have to be uh, in the same format so that uh, if we want to apply some operations we can do that so we can just put one more which is uh, this and now we are having four dates now we want to convert that into a usa format how will you do that so one way is to use text bracket starts and then the value and comma and how the date format should look like. Uh, well, in the USA format, the month is before the date. So MM then, okay, so you have to put inverted comma first and then MM slash DD slash YYYY. So now you will get the dates in USA format, but it is not. Uh, so it looks like it is in the USA format, but you cannot use it for now. So you have to copy this, these dates and you have to paste spatial and here you have to paste it as values. Now press okay. Now these dates are in USA format because the months are before the dates. Now these won't be recognized by Excel because the local system is in uh, UK format, not the USA format, but this date will be recognized by USA or even this one, because uh, in any case, uh, these two fits well in uh, USA as well as uh, UK, but for different months. So in this case, this is December and this is February. But uh, in UK system, it is uh, May and January. So be careful when you are handling dates, you have to have consistency across. So first of all, now this is in the text format. So you can just uh, use it uh, in any way you want. So why do we th do these kinds of operations? So for example, at times you are using Tableau like software wherein you have to pull a lot of data. Uh, from multiple sources and and you want to ensure that the consistency of uh, of uh, the date format is there so then you ensure that okay there is no mixing of uk and usa dates uh, so in this case uh, we have converted the uk format date into a usa format date but this won't be recognized by excel but it will do all the needful work which uh, is required uh, because this is something which will be which you will be using for some data operations on these dates and it can go vice versa as well so for example if your system supports usa date and you're having dates in uh, usa format or uk format and you want to convert that into vice versa so you can also do the same thing you just have to use text and in place of mmdd you can do ddmm and then you can have uh, it like this now suppose you are having the the dates in the in the USA format and you want to convert that into a UK format but now these are not recognized by Excel so how will you do that either you can use uh, use text function for that but let's try if uh, it works so let's say text uh, this is the source and then dd mm y y y y and like it closes so in this case it has not given us what we wanted why why is that because this will recognize the date as the uk format not as the us format so now that we have used a text 
function we can see that the output is incorrect so because that is because uh, it is still considering uh, the local system which is the uk date format now what you have to do is you have to use the text to column way to basically divide or explore the dates into uh, multiple parts and then concatenate each of them so go to data and go to text to columns and here uh, use the delimiter slash and uh, next so now we are having these splitted dates so now you can just use uh, equals to concatenate and then different values so first is this one sorry we have to use the uk format so date will come first and then the month so here in this case d2 represents our date comma inverted comma backslash comma c2 comma inverted comma backslash again and then uh, the year and we are done so now in this case we are having dates now in uk format but it is still not in the date form in the sense it looks like date but it is just a calculation so you have to again copy this and paste it as a value so go to paste special and here go to values now click ok and we are done now we have dates in uk format so these are the actual dates these are the calculations so this is another way of uh, converting the dates into different form so like you, if you had uk you are converting that into us form or if you had uh, us form then you are converting that into uk form but ensure that if if these dates are not in your is not same as your locals uh, date uh, format then dou don't double click on it or else it will just uh, change uh, the the date actually because uh, for now this one is in usa format but this represents uh, december 5th but uh, in the uk format it is actually 12th may now there is another way to convert dates into different uh, format so exam for example if you had uh, these dates now if you want to convert them into uk form then what you will do is you will use uh, concatenate and here you will use uh, left function which is from left how many values should be taken so from this we need to take uh, let's say two values so what will it show it will show us 12 but before that we want to have uh, the date so use mid for that mid and what is the text here text is this text is this then comma what is the starting number this is fourth like one two three four so from four we have to take three characters so like three characters and then comma so we are having date as well as the month now we want to add the year as well so just use uh, right and from right we want first of all this particular cells value and then comma how many characters we need four characters so press enter there is some mistake let's fix that as well okay so let's see right yep should work okay let's see so we have applied mid and uh, these were the values then comma left these were the values and this bracket is perfectly closed and another bracket to close that one okay 
so we missed this particular so there shouldn't be any bracket and now it should be done but where is the issue the issue is we don't have this backslash so use uh, instead of four five why one two three four five so five characters from the right five and press enter and now you are having the date in uk form so ensure when you're using this that there are zeros as well because we want consistency as well why because when we are using mid b84 so it means one two three four and had there been no zero it would have picked wrong date so always have uh, zeros as well when you're having single digit uh, date or month uh, so that helps in preventing any error which may which might have occurred because of uh, missing zero so always have that and you will be able to convert that very easily so mid is uh, is the function which uh, pulls uh, the data uh, from the starting position to number of characters which uh, we want so in this case we we provided the b8 value and we wanted the numbers to be pulled or the values to be pulled from character 4 and we wanted three characters so like one two three four from here one two three and uh, left is starting from left how many characters should be pulled so we entered two characters so one and two and we could have actually done three as well but then this backslash is taken by right which basically means five from the right so like one two three four five so these were different ways of uh, converting the dates in different formats. So from UK format to USA format, from USA to UK, it's pretty easy. Just ensure that when you have converted any format, um, just copy paste that uh, as value because uh, that's when it will be retained as the new date format. And also don't double click on it because it will convert that into the local date format just in case you don't want that. So like this same date can be considered as uh, as December 5th. It can also mean 12th May because if you'll copy paste this value. So this is the copied value. We have converted that into a USA format. Like it should be a USA format date, but if you'll double click on it, it has now become a May month date. So if you want to verify what I mean is go to format cells and uh, put uh, this. So this makes it easy to understand. So this is 12th May while this is 5th of December. but it won't it shouldn't be double clicked because the moment you double click on it it will change so let me show you the example go to format cells and uh, go to date and then use this thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you didn't then leave a comment so that we can improve it further do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more and do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.